Let's examine what to look for when determining the quality of a project plan. FUSE offers numerous ways in which to determine the quality of a schedule. In fact, today there are over 300 different metrics or checks and balances to help us determine where are the shortcomings in our schedule and more importantly, how do we fix them? A sound basis of schedule has three key quality attributes. Firstly, it has to have sound sequence. In other words, the logic has to be correct. Secondly, it has to be realistic. Thirdly, it has to have an appropriate level of detail. So sequence, realism, level of detail. Let's take a closer look at each of those three in turn. The Fuse Schedule Quality Metric Library contains nine different metrics, all of which pertain to sequence, realism, and level of detail. Looking at these from left to right, in the ribbon analyzer on the right hand side, we first of all can see missing logic, looking at open-ended activities, missing predecessors, missing successes. Likewise, logic density is an indication as to the level of detail and complexity, not of activities, but actually of logic. So ensuring, first of all, we have sufficient logic in terms of absence of open ends. And secondly, let's look at the quality and the consistency of logic over time across our schedule. The use of constraints, especially hard constraints, often results in the likes of negative float. Here we can see that because of the four hard constraints in our schedule, six activities have a resultant negative float. Anytime we see negative float in a schedule, that is a massive warning sign that we have serious issues and concerns about the realism of the schedule. In this example, 13% of our schedule is carrying insufficient detail. Based on the threshold that we've set in the tool, seven activities require additional detailing in order to provide accurate enough control during execution. Excessive use of lags, we can see here 54% of the schedule is carrying lags between activities. Again, lags really hide the level of detail in the schedule. Very hard to track progress during execution if some of the work is buried within a lag instead of an actual activity. Merge hotspots again pertain to logic. Merge hotspots occur when multiple predecessor activities all converge on a single activity, causing that activity to ultimately to be a very high risk task within the schedule. All of these metrics together through industry standard weightings add up to what we call the FUSE metric index. The FUSE metric index is an extremely valuable means of calculating and scoring the overall quality of our schedule. One of the capabilities of FUSE is not only the ability to look at individual metrics and group them into an overarching metric index, but to be able to actually slice and dice the project either by a particular code field, in this case contractor, so that we can compare the quality of the various contractors working on the project. The same thing can be done for WBS, for resources, literally any code or user-defined field. But in addition, the exact same type of slice and dice analysis by time period. So being able to look at how logic density varies over time, or perhaps where in time our negative float falls. This two-dimensional analysis combined with the use of the Schedule Quality Index makes FUSE the perfect tool for understanding the quality of our schedule and where we need to address those schedule shortcomings.